you reminded me that it's supposed to be playful and it's supposed to be happy and fun. Yeah. And so I think that's something that, that as gals, you know, there's, yes, there's the duty when you have to cook for a family and all of that, mm -hmm. but there's, there's a pleasure. Yeah. And relish, I think, ideally speaks to that idea of like, relish your life, enjoy it, suck it up, and you know, do the scarpetta on your life as well as your plate. Mm -hmm. you know I, 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 I love that you picked up on that, and that, that that's, of course, you would seize on it because that's so how you live your life, and just like having fun and, and being playful. And I, you know, it's funny because for me, one of the things that I realized was. The kitchen is one of those few places that adults are given license to make a mess, yeah. have fun, yeah. up a few times, <laughs> and it's totally, I mean, the worst thing that's gonna happen is your dish is gonna be thrown away, and honestly, that almost never happens. Almost every dish is salvageable, and I think that that's such an important thing to remember. Like, you're not gonna be perfect the first time you go in the kitchen. That mm -hmm. that that shouldn't take you, preclude you from doing it, mm -hmm. and just because mm -hmm. you need to try in the beginning doesn't mean you're bad at it. And, yeah, and right. as an adult, it's kind that's of fun right. to remind yourself what it's like to learn and what it's like to 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 be that novice again totally. because it keeps you childlike and it keeps you having fun. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I have to also say what I really enjoyed and really am thankful for. I like the idea of turning challenges into triumphs. There's like there's all these little gifts that you've given us. I almost actually saw this as separate books. I, there, there was a part of me that went, wait a second, there's style in here, and there's also this divine strawberry looking thing that just <laughs> made my head turn. Strawberry cake. The chocolate Ooh. fudge pop, of course I'm gonna have that. But um, I also wanted to share that you also include alcohol. Now, you know, I work at, at a place called Phoenix House, and I know we always talk about rehabilitation, and, and mindfulness, I think, really lends itself into how we drink and how we present that part of yes. our, how do we how do we include that in our part of our lives. And much like you have this attitude with food, don't probably means that we're going to want it more. Of course. Now, you've given us some delicious little recipes in here. There's one in here that was a mint julep, mm -hmm. um, and there were other recipes in there where you actually incorporate juices. Hello, and thank you. <laughs> well, there, I, actually, interestingly, almost any of the cocktail, I'm, I don't think there's one that wouldn't be delicious as a mocktail, that you can mm -hmm. totally leave the alcohol up if you yes. wanted to. Yes. And that's kind of fun, too, because I think you know, you you tend to write if you're if you're not gonna have alcohol, you maybe write that that drinking experience mm -hmm. off and just have water and don't make a special production of it. But there's so much of a of a way to add luxury to your life without needing to include alcohol yeah. if you choose not to. Beautiful. Well, Daphne, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I am gonna relish relish. Oh. I have to I have to tell you, and I love that the means name. So much coming from you, for sure. <laughs> well, from one century Lista to another, yes. this gal has given us. There's so much in here about your life as well. About we have photos from your wedding in here, yeah. and mum and dad, and all the, the relationship people. section was so fun to write because it was just like this opportunity to to synthesize all the best. You knew my mom really well, and she's so just wise and has the best advice. And it was this chance to really synthesize and crystallize all these great things that I picked up along the way yes. from her, from my grandma, from mm -hmm. all these women I talked to who had achieved marriage bliss, a relationship bliss, and failure because totally. you learn so much yep. from that from that opposite side as well, totally. you know? And thanks for those tips. I think that's also really healthy. I mean, so what this book is about and what we always invite you to have is a balanced look at yourself, a balanced look at how you want to, not to live the life you imagine, you you want but to enjoy the life that you have and uh, spice it up and get sexy and sassy with it and thank you for being and thank you for being in my life really oh. i'm really it, the pleasure delighted. is all mine <laughs> thank you donna. So this is donna de cruz rasa living where sensuality spirituality and style coexist so relish it and make scarpetta out of every morsel of it so mwah. ciao <laughs>